some of our original people, uh, the Native Americans, are typified by Sacagawea, who led Lewis and Clark on the exploration through the Northwest. She traveled and carried them all the way through Montana, Idaho, up into Washington, through the Pacific Coast. The trappers were prominent here. They were very prominent. In fact, we have lots of remnants of the trappers and the mountain men. They were very important people in our history, but it took not long before we had the settlers coming. The settlers came for a variety of reasons. Some for agriculture because the land was available. Some because they heard there was gold in the Denmark Hills and they brought their little Rocky Mountain Canary and traveled through our mountains. Before long, we had to have a little bit of law on the plains and it was provided by the United States Cavalry, who you see typified here. And as the towns and communities developed, we had all kinds of influences come into the towns. Some ladies in the saloons, uh, gentlemen were attracted to those saloons, and they came fairly prominently. And before long, we had a little more sophistication, including a Surrey with the French on top. We developed our own law, and soon we had commerce. And you see this beautiful wagon, which was from the Sterling Hardware and Implement Company in Sterling, Colorado, led by a beautiful team of Belgian horses. And then came the ladies, the refined ladies of Denver society in their side saddles, riding beautiful horses in a very stately manner. Commerce came into this area through the stagecoaches. There still runs between Denver and Julesburg where the stagecoach trails travel on a daily basis as they move people and commerce into this area. Our cattle guys came and notice our beautiful chuck wagon led by the span of mules and our cattlemen behind our drovers, they were all important in the history of our country. But you know the wild, wild west was really not the wild, wild west that we all knew about until the great showman Buffalo Bill Cody decided to teach everybody what the wild west was all about. And he took his wild west across the world into the east and around the nation, and then he went to Europe. He performed before all the crown heads of Europe, and he was mighty proud as he took his show. He showed them the Native Americans, as you see in our group, and he had a great show act, uh, little Annie Oakley, riding, standing in the saddle with her, trick shooting and everything, and her friend Frank Butler, who was her companion throughout that time. That's just a little bit of the Western history that we all have come to know and appreciate. And if you really want to see some pieces of great history, you ought to come on a Saturday out to Western Airs and see our Western History Museum, which has four pieces of refined Western history that you find very many places around the country. We'd be glad to have you come out.
Here come uh, the rest of our Wild West show. Little Danny Oakley bringing up the rear, carrying her firearm. She could shoot a silver dollar in the air. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's our passage of Western history, and it's time now.